Hello everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be using this stamp set here from Mama Elephant called Hello Friend Wishes. And I just absolutely love the Hello Friend sentiment in this stamp set. It's just screaming to do a watercolor background with this stamp. So I'm going to do that today. I've got a piece of Bristol Smooth watercolor paper <coughs> because if you used your zigs, um, you probably have heard around YouTube or um, blog land or whatever that the the zig click color real brush markers are really 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 great with when they're paired up with the uh, bristle smooth cardstock so that's what we're going to be using today i'm going to get my stamp out here and i'm going to be using my mini misty to stamp my panels i am going to be making two cards for you guys today <clears throat> I thought since I had such a big piece of the Bristle Smooth, I thought I would go ahead and make two cards out of this. So I went ahead and die cut the both of these panels with the largest uh, scallop frame from the Mama Elephant's Mama Elephant Frim Frames uh, die set. Uh, one of my favorites still. And I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss this and we're going to do some emboss resist today. So I'm going to um, get that mounted and then I'm going to prep my uh, pieces here with my anti-static powder tool. Really to make sure that I get um, this really real well and inked up. And as I am going to um, stamp this down, I thought I got it inked up pretty well. Um, but as you see here in a moment, um, I, whenever I went to go remove this, I got a little bit of that of, of the H that it was missing. Um, you kind of see where the powder is not sticking on the H there. I know it's kind of hard to see a little bit, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Versa, mar Versa marker and I'm going to take that and just um, kind of fill in that a little area where the powder or where the embossing, uh, emboss, uh, the Versa mark is what I'm trying to say, where it did not catch on to that sentiment. And all I got to do is take my marker there and just reapply some of the uh, my embossing powder and it will stick just fine. So I'm going to go ahead and ink up my other panel here and also do the same thing, apply my powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and heat set both of these at the same time. So I'm really going to get make sure that I got all my powder on there and tap off the excess. And then once I have all of those um, finished there, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, and heat set them. And then we're going to get ready to do uh, the emboss resist part of our cards. So today I'm going to be using the zigs, like I mentioned before, and I'm going to be using uh, six different colors. I wanted to do a green, a, a, like a aqua blue and a darker blue. And then I've gone to do really like light pinks uh, into a darker pink. And all of the specific colors that I'm using for the zigs today will be listed in the bottom bar below. So in case you're interested in what I did use, go ahead and check that and it will be listed for you. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to take my zigs and then I've also got my little water brush here. And <clears throat> this was kind of the first time that I have done this technique with the zigs. Um, so, and I don't know if it's just because some of my um, markers are a little bit dry or what but I really had to kind of work at it just a little bit but as you can see here I'm um, sorry I'm out of, frame, out of frame just a little bit but you will see you kind of get the gist <clears throat> I am going to be using my water pen just to kind of meld the colors together really get them to blend now this one here this blue here it's you know um, very pigmented so I had no problems with it at all um, but since it is a more pigmented color than the other two, um, I'm really going to try to work it and really try to blend the two colors between the middle and this color here together. Um, it really was fun. It was really, really quick. Um, I really do love this technique. It's one of the, my favorites of all the techniques that I've tried thus far being a card maker. Um, so um, I really do like you know, many ways of doing emboss resist, whether it be with distress inks or what have you. But, um, so I'm really going to try to cover as much of this area as possible with my water brush and try to get it blended. So you kind of see what I'm, that's what I'm doing here. And then once I, um, I'm satisfied with how much I've got on there, I'm going to move on to my pinks and stuff. So the very first one that I have here my lightest one <clears throat> I think it was a little bit dry so I may have to get another one and um, so I am going to go ahead and probably I'm going to add this color and then I'm going to go in and do it a little bit more later as I am about to 
get them all blended. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm sorry that I keep clearing my throat here, but I've got a little bit of a um, cough or whatever trying to happen. So um, anyway, so I'm going to move on to my darker, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to move on to my darker color, which is, I believe, the pink flamingo color, um, either that or it's the light carmine. Let me see. I have them right here um, in front of me so I can tell you exactly. Yes, the middle shade is the pink flamingo, and then the next color is the light carmine. So I really, really do like these colors together. Really, really fun. And they really do blend really, really well on this Bristol Smooth paper. It's it's one of the better ones that I have found so far using these uh, pens. Before, I was using the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. And I wasn't getting the results. Even though they were, they were blending okay, they were not giving me the results that I really, really wanted. So um, I really am happy that I have discovered the Bristol Smooth with these pens. So you see here I'm kind of going back with my water brush and um, then I'm going to add a little bit more of that pink and then I'm just going to go ahead and take a little um, paper towel here and just wipe off the excess on the embossing and take care of that portion. So now I'm going to add just a little bit of shimmer here. I've got some of my Mr. Mr. Hueys and I'm going to spray above me here so you really won't see me when I actually spray but I'm going to go ahead and put a good coat of this on top because I really really do want um, a lot of shimmer on this. So I'm going to go ahead and prep my card bases. Now this is a piece of Simon Says Stamp Fog cardstock. Um, like I mentioned in my last video, it's one of my favorites right now. I really really do like it as card bases because um, it's just an alternative to just plain white. Although I do like my white cardstock, um, I'm really just really into this fog cardstock right now. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get those really good and creased down and get those um, car made into card bases. And then I'm going to go ahead and prep my panels here with my foam adhesive. And I was being very, very generous because um, with my foam adhesive because um, since we did do some embossing and then we did a little bit of uh, watercoloring, if you will, I really wanted these to withstand um, the warping if there was any warping. So... So I got those all adhered and I'm going to take off the backings of this other one and I'm going to go ahead and adhere that as well. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the uh, shimmer here, uh, here in a moment. And then I decided to go ahead and stamp the insides of cards for you guys. So I'm going to take that same, same stamp set and uh, ink up two different greetings here and then I'm going to stamp those on the inside. On this first one here it got just smudged just a little bit but it's not that big of a deal. And then the next, next, next one here I wanted to have two different ones and it stamped just a lot better. So that really completes the, the uh, end result of our cards for today. I hope you enjoyed these tutorials and just a look at what you can do with these zigs. I hope you give it a try if you haven't um, given it a try before with this Emboss Resist. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.